Now, if you want to ensure your moment of fame lasts more than 15 minutes, there's now a formula to help you and the publicist. PR agent Mark Bukowski has studied celebrities from Madonna to Jordan and, with the help of some mathematically-minded researchers, has created an equation which determines when fame declines. Though it's unlikely to be hailed as the new E equals MC squared, the formula is to help publicists and celebs work out when to perk up the public's interest with a new product or even a new lover. Uh, well, uh, Mark Bukowski is with me now. Um, so how have you come up with this? Years of research, actually. <laughs> we, took, uh, we, we, we took a model of three years' research and looking at the uh, various sort of media, media libraries, online libraries and, and cutting libraries, television um, sources as well, and, and looked at four or five significant people and also thousands of other insignificant sort of people to see whether or not this sort of formula matched anything. I wanted to find out whether or not Warhol's 15 minutes of fame existed. Well, people seem to think in a digital age it should be shorter. I think how it's longer. Well, what are the parameters? Let's have a look at your, um, your, your equation. Um, now, I'm, I'm guessing you didn't actually draw this up yourself. But, I didn't, um, actually, no. It uh, basically is a, a, a fame. It's about the decay of fame. It's looking at actually a start point, whether you're George Clooney or a hopeful out of Big Brother. There's going to be a different parameter. Um, but basically, we're looking at it in four quarters, basically, of the year and look at, and appraising each time in terms of what happens to the amount of coverage they generate within these four quarters at a point of their most pertinent. So, for example, if you're George Clooney, you're always going to have a point on the radar. It's never really going to diminish a pro -rancher. but if you are someone who's perhaps just been thrown at Big Brother, involved with a scandal of your wag or whatever, you get a blip on the radar. What happens to that blip? Where does it go and does it keep on going? What, what, what the formula shows after the fourth quarter is that you have to do something. You have to do something to maintain that increase in fame. If not, you'll just disintegrate. You will be there on the radar. Your blip will be on there. If you're Cameron, the person who sought no publicity after Big Brother, you disappear. But if you if you don't, you've got to do something. And intuitively, publicists are very clever. Particularly, let, let, let's take some examples. Who, who okay. have we got uh, first up? Surprise there? me. If we could just that and actually flood your image in times of the media, we lose interest and we disappear. So from the kids' book down to it, there's always been a book to keep her. But interesting with Madonna, her image keeps going. And here we have her one word equity that all brands want, Madonna. If you say that, you know exactly what you're talking about. And that's been driven over 20 or 30 years of careful management. OK, Mark, thanks very much indeed. Uh, and that's it. We will be back at 7 tonight, again at noon tomorrow. Until then, have a very good afternoon.